Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Italy in the Fear Right mod. So, this division here I, I found, I, I think I might have accidentally deployed this unit rather than deleted him. So my bad. Let's go ahead and disband him, get his equipment going back into the stockpile so that we can uh, hopefully fix these, these shortages that we have. We got massive so shortages right now. Uh, we do have enough uh, army experience to make some more adjustments. We'll wait till we get a bit more though, maybe like 10 where we change up those tanks any further. Uh, we got the improved artillery shells, so that'll be helpful making our artillery superior. Uh, and then of course we can get some research bonuses for the artillery as well, which I think, yeah, 1939 is when that uh, we need to get the uh, next uh, artillery. Uh, so I think we're gonna go in and get that. Uh, Air Force and Navy is just not as important as the Army at this moment. Uh, it's just not, e not even close. Uh, deal with the Strikers. Yeah, I think we'll continue working on the Army. Yeah, none of these look more important than getting this. So let's get the research bonuses for the artillery. Uh, once again, cannot advance, really. Uh, we just can't advance against them. Uh, they're too strong and we're too weak. However, we're slowly getting our guys built back up. You see these, these strength numbers are starting to improve and that's really just all we can do is focus on, on uh, trying to get this equipment situation uh, solved, especially the artillery. Well, very large shortage on artillery right now. Uh, we still dominate the skies, I believe, in this area. Uh, maybe that's just because the well, the German planes they have about as many as we do. So yeah, there's no way that they can uh, stretch them across all these fronts. Not to mention the fact that the French and uh, the British also have large uh, air forces. Uh, so the Workers' Republic of Bolivia has just declared war on Paraguay. All right, well, let's take a look at this situation. The Workers' Republic is a, uh, of course, a collectivist uh, country, while we have social conservatives here in Paraguay. All right, so let's hope for the uh, Paraguay to win, but I, I don't, I don't think they're going to. Yeah, they don't have a chance. Uh, but we're not going to be able to, you know, obviously we can't uh, send them any volunteers since we are currently at war. But I do want to pay attention to the the conflict going on around in the world. Uh, so we did win here. We got those units destroyed. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and focus on getting these guys destroyed now. I forgot all about this front. But yeah, let's go ahead and get these guys um, done, and then we're going to bring our troops over here to try and take uh, Constantinople. Right, so we will have them go. That would be the best way to do this. Uh, probably, hmm. Overall, they're much stronger than I was thinking they were going to be on this front. Uh, okay, uh, let's see if we can't advance right here. This is what we'll do. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's bring our troops over there. Hopefully they don't get cut off. Uh, we'll just see. Uh, these guys here are going to wipe this unit out. Uh, focus on getting that done. That's a German division. So we'll get them destroyed. They are attempting to leave here. Uh, so uh, hopefully, we'll, yeah, we'll get over there just in time. Uh, we're going to send our divisions over here. And we're going to attempt to attack over this way and see if we can't get uh, some of these units uh, cut off. I don't know, though. Honestly, uh, the uh, uh, the Turks have turned it around a little bit over here, more than I was expecting them to. Uh, and then with these guys, we're going to send them. Let's see. The best way to do this would be right here. All right, so we're going to send them over there. Uh, and you know what? We should probably give some planning bonuses and get these guys selected. And they'll come over here. It doesn't really matter how we do this. The point is just to get the planning bonuses. All right, so our troops are good on this front, and you can see what I'm trying to do. I'd love to be able to like, get a win here. I remember, these are crappy divisions, so I highly doubt we'll get any victories here without French assistance. We'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to be able to, if we get a win there, get a win here, and we're just a few provinces away from being able to get all these divisions cut off, which would be incredibly helpful. Uh, we'll just see what happens there. Uh, let's go ahead and do an attack here. Uh, okay, clearly not going to be a victory. Let's just go and pull them back. What if we attacked here? Probably won't be a victory either. No. All right, we'll just let the French kind of try and exhaust them a bit. Uh, we're going to go and take any equipment the British want to send us, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we were able to hold out over here. This is what's been really surprising front for me uh, because I thought we were done for here. I thought there was no way that we would be able to uh, hold out here. Um, what I kind of want to do is put the, the Red Army across the front here and let the Purple Army cover that uh, specific province right there. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go and bring them back and bring the Purple Army. I think that's the best way to, to do this. Uh, rather than just bring more Purple Army, uh, Purple Divisions into the Red Division, it's better doing it that way. Alright, so we have another military factory to get assigned. We're really starting to pump these out. I'm going to take a look and see at our construction here in a minute and see how we're doing there. 
Uh, we need to get more building. And we're focused on repairing, which is obviously not what we want to do. All right, so let's just go ahead and build throughout this area here. And yeah, we'll build one right there as well. There we go. And that's probably all we're going to build for a little while. Uh, just until we get those numbers up, those military factories. Because, uh, yeah, we're we're finally starting to get it under hand. Uh, we're getting it taken care of. Uh, we're going to build more light tanks. Uh, but, yeah, you can see it's really just artillery that we're, we're short now. We're now in the positive when it comes to the infantry equipment. Very, very good. And that's right. I completely forgot about the army down here. Um, oops. <laughs> I was hoping it would shoot me over to here. I think we might want to throw this uh, our own troops. And they don't even have an, a leader here. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and give these guys a leader. Uh, hopefully somebody, uh, you know what, it might be good to give them the desert leader just because most of those armies are in the desert. Although I'm tempted to actually have him lead our troops here. Yeah, you know what, let's not do that. Let's find a very good defensive leader and it would be, yeah, it's going to be uh, Shimoy. Yeah, we'll go ahead and assign him. And then these guys here are going to start their own little army. Bring them on down here. Uh, I don't have a field marshal here either. Good God, man. I'm just fucking up left and right. I didn't realize that. Um, so uh, we'll have these guys assigned here. Uh, we need to give them new fronts, obviously, because that was the Purple Army's front, so that's not going to work. Um, damn it. I'm going to have to come back over to these guys. All right. So let's go ahead and get these fronts destroyed here. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do it as them. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and give them new fronts. You guys assigned there. And then you guys assigned right here. And then once again, give them some lines Pronto. to get a planning bonus. All right, excellent. But once again, I you're seeing more numbers here. I don't think we're going to be taking any territory uh, in this region. In fact, it'd probably be better for us to come over here where the numbers are much less and we'll be able to do a bit more. Yeah, because they are deep over here. But a, part of the reason why they're deep over here is because we have troops here. Uh, so it's, it's resulting in the AI pumping more troops over there. So we are helping the French advance here, but I prefer if the French advance this way. So I almost think we should pull our troops over here. I'm going to uh, try and get some troops surrounded. Like right... Hmm, these are all river attacks. You know what? Let's change this up. I've got a different plan. I'm going to take Ankara. And we're just going to bring all of our divisions over there. Because these are kind of garbage divisions, so we're going to need extra ones. Uh, so let's go and get a field marshal. I can't believe I didn't do that yet. My bad, guys. I'm just like... Uh, I've, I've been away from Hearts of Iron for too long, clearly. Uh, so we're going to want... You know, I'm really tempted to do a defensive uh, guy on this front. Just because uh, it's a defensive front. Yeah, and get that max entrenchment up. Uh, but our best guys are all offensive. So whatever, we'll just put, we'll just do that that way, uh, and then bring all these guys over here. Okay, uh, so we'll come over here and see if we can't help out. Try and get towards uh, Ankara, uh, and they just, just declared war. The Germans just declared war in Luxembourg. Okay, uh, I don't know why they did that. They're not even on the Luxembourg front just yet. Um, and of course, uh, Poland has now called them in to the larger conflict, and. Still not seeing any areas on this front where we're going to be able to advance. We did get our national focus completed. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... Oh, we can do uh, artillery cheaper to produce. Yes, let's do that. We haven't even put anti-tanks in our units yet. So <laughs> eventually we're going to want to. In fact, we have the experience to, to do something now. So let's go and take care of that. Uh, we have these guys pretty much solid for right now. I'm um, eventually going to probably put anti-tanks into their units. Uh, the mountain troops are another one that we need to, we need to do something with. Um... But we don't have the special forces cap to add any more special forces units over here. Could get them some recon, of course. But I think it'd be uh, make more sense to try and continue working on the tank units because, well, they're frankly not very good. So <laughs> let's go ahead and do tank units. Um, we're gonna want to get them some more motorized, and we don't have, yeah, we don't have the artillery that we need for these guys at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a damn shame. All right, well, we'll just have to build them out without artillery until we get that. Uh, it's gonna take it's gonna take a little while before we get it and then get it built out. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just build them out with like a combat width of 20 uh, once we can. Uh, but this is all the experience we have. Let's try and make those tank units a little bit better. 
Uh, and as you can see, they, they still don't have the, the tanks and stuff that they need at the moment, or the motorized. Uh, how are we doing on getting motorized built? I bet we don't have enough. Or maybe we do. Let me just take a look. Uh, since motorized is not what we're short, it's just the tanks that are really hurting them. And of course, uh, artillery, support equipment, all things that we currently need. Uh, we might be able to win right there. Um, doesn't actually decrease the size of the front. Attacking here would though, so let's attempt an attack there. Uh, we're going to support with these guys. Can't support with them yet because they're currently defending. Uh, so we'll attack right there. See if we can't get a win somewhere. Does look like that's going to be a victory. Excellent. Uh, so that does decrease the size of the front. Um, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. Nope. It didn't. It didn't decrease it at all. Uh, we need to attack this province. Uh, to. So let's see if we can't make that happen. We're going to attack with one of these guys. And attack with this tank unit. He's got uh, all the equipment he needs too. Uh, and the Mexican state just declared war on the Americans. All right, so that's interesting. We'll have to take a look at how that's going here in a second. Let's see what's what's happening over here. Uh, so apparently, from what somebody told me, in the, you know, and uh, I think it was on Discord, is that America is much weaker in this one, and they actually do have trouble with Metsco. But then somebody told me in the comments uh, of a couple of videos back that that's not true, and that the, the Americans always... Uh, are able to defeat Metsuko very quick. So I don't know which which one's true here, so I don't really know what to, to expect. All we can really base it on is is what we see here. And what I'm seeing is that they have around the same amount of divisions. Um, America, of course, still has you know a larger navy, a larger air force. They have more civilian factories and dockyards and military factories uh, and the manpower. But division-wise, they're about equal. I don't know, guys. I really don't know how this is going to go. We'll just have to see. Uh, I would expect that the Americans will win, though. Uh, they'll definitely win in the long run if the Mexicans are not able to, to end it quickly. Um, so these guys got stopped here, so they weren't able to make it over here. Uh, these guys are apparently attacking there, which is not what I wanted. Um, I want to attack this way, try and cut divisions off. So let's see if we can't get a win there. Probably not going to happen. Nah, that's across the river as well. Whoa, what happened over here? All right, well, let's just go and pull these guys back. Uh, and uh, let's see what this is. Oh, this is very long. Um, okay, so I think that this is the altar. So th this whole thing I told you guys about originally was based off of the, the book that's in the Kaiserreich that, you know, suggests the idea of this alternative uh, timeline. Um, you know, it's a novel, I think, uh, where the, the Germans uh, lost, you know, which is not the case in Kaiserreich. Well, here's the book that... Uh, is basically a kind of a play off that. It's an alternate history where the Germans won World War One. Uh, okay, so it's just a little flavor event. I won't read all that, but you can read it if you so desire. We're not going to trade for that one uh, resource there. But yeah, now it's just kind of like real slow, uh, slow going here while we attempt to uh, attempt to get some victories. We're going to have to pull this back because we're losing. Uh, just try and get uh, get some provinces push forward wherever we can, wherever we see a little bit of openings. Try and help out our side. Uh, I'd love to be able to get Salzburg on our hand, uh, into our hands, but yeah, that doesn't look like that's going to happen. We're still defending over here, but in fact, I didn't want this front stretched out like this, so let's just pull it back. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll leave these guys here, let them finish that defense, and then they can pull back. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're starting to build up on these fronts uh, with us pulling that back that did allow us to get like two divisions on each front. Let's take a look at the situation here and see what we can do. It looks like we have more troops coming over this way. Excellent. Uh, I want to attack right here and see if we can't uh, get behind these guys if we can destroy them. Uh, and we're going to have to wait until we get the rest of our divisions though. And I think this is, is there a river right here? I can't really tell. Uh, we're obviously going to need to wait till we have all four divisions, though. That's the only way we would be able to win here. It looks like it's going to be irrelevant, though, because I, I think that the French will have them defeated first, which is a damn shame. Yeah, no, we won't even be able to cut them off. So, But the point is, of course, to get down Kara. So let's attack with all these divisions here. Even then, we still can't win. That's bad. All right, so let, let me change this up here, guys. Let's go here instead. And then we're going to bring uh, almost all these divisions over to here and see if we can attack that way up to Ankara, uh, where the division is fairly weak. We'll keep that attack going so that they can't pull anybody over here uh, to assist them. It looks like the French tanks there are assisting us. Uh, looks like we did get a win there as well, so let's go ahead and just rush towards Ankara here, uh, and we will extend the front out like so, and then we'll see if we can't grab a key Turkish province. Grab it up. Excellent. Uh, in this game, Ankara is not, in this mod, Ankara is not the capital. Constantinople is. Or Istanbul. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, and we currently have a division defending there as well. All right, so we've taken Ankara. Can we hold it though? I don't know, guys. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. Let's go and pull these guys back because we're going to need all the assistance we can get over here. I don't know if we, we'll be able to hold it or not. I don't even want to push forward any further because it would just result in us getting cut off, I'm sure. Yeah, I just I don't think we'll be able to hold this, guys. Uh, we'll see if the French come and help us. It looks like they have pulled the troops off that way uh, now that we're not over there anymore. Uh, seeing that there are some definite uh, openings here for uh, getting uh, them cut off. I love that we're getting all this territory as well. Uh, since they attacked from our territory, so it's all going into our hands. That's very nice. We just got a shit ton of military factories finished up. That's excellent. Let's go and put them into the support equipment and the artillery uh, and the tanks. The stuff we're needing the most right now. Um, I think we actually need to put another one into tanks there. All right, so as far as resources go, still short. Three on tungsten and two on oil. Let's go ahead and trade trade for these that we need because we know we're going to need them uh, in the long run so let's trade with the french and take a look at this unread naval battle over here a couple unread naval battles just curious what ended up happening it looks like it's mostly uh, convoys that have been sunk all right uh over here on this front still not seeing any openings though it does look like we won right there so that's excellent uh so pushing the front forward ever so slowly uh got the anti-infantry focus excellent uh and Doctrine finalization is what we're probably going to want to get next. That gives us a nice little chunk of experience. Uh, so, yeah, let's get that and finish up the land, the entire land doctrine route. All right. Um, we have experience. So let's go to make more adjustments to our tanks. Uh, I don't think we have anything here for them. No, we don't. Uh, we could get another uh, thing of uh, the motorized divisions since we don't have any artillery for them. So let's go ahead and do that. And... That looks good. Uh, we still have experience. Uh, we can't add them to them. Yeah, we don't have the uh, the numbers yet. And this is pretty much good as well. Uh, what we're going to need to do is just save it up until we get the equipment. We'll save our experience up until we get equipment to do uh, to do a bit more. Uh, and it uh, looks like we sunk a light cruiser there. The French did. Uh, and we're having a lot of trouble holding Ankara. They're focusing everything on trying to get it back. Uh, but... You can see here, they could easily cut some divisions off here. Uh, let me see if I can't get a division over there in time to save Ankara. Uh, so we keep that in our hands. Uh, we, what we need to do is get a division over here to launch an attack to cut these guys off. Uh, or attack right there. Hmm. What if... Let me just see if I can't get a division over there. We'll take a look. And what we'll do is we will decrease this here. I'll see if I can make it happen, guys. Honestly, I just don't, uh, I don't expect we'll be able to. If we keep rotating the visions out here, maybe. As you can see, that number's getting lower and lower, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, so we'll bring another division over there and attempt to attack right there. Uh, but even then, I don't think we would have the chance of winning there. It looks like uh, Sweden has been called into the conflict. Excellent. Just take a look at uh, who else they've brought into the war that maybe I haven't been paying attention to. It looks like just Sweden. All right, well, that'll be helpful. That's one more army uh, that we'll get to use. 20 divisions, 30 ships. Uh, that'll be able to help us out in the conflict. Excellent. Zoomed in a little bit too far there. Poland's still holding out here, guys. They have lost Warsaw, though. Uh, so I don't know how much longer they're going to hold out. Let's just take a look at the numbers here. 899,000 for the Germans. That's a lot of casualties. Uh, Polish are... They're going to capitulate soon, guys. And then this whole thing is going <laughs> to change up here. Uh, yeah, this will be able to pump all those divisions, all these divisions, onto this front and... Uh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be very bad. I wanted to take as much territory as I could um, before that happened, but we didn't really take much. Um, maybe we might be able to get a win there. I guess we can try and uh, support with these guys. Let's see what we can make happen while we still have the uh, equal numbers over here. Because it's about to get, once the Polish surrender, it's going to get bad. All right, so let's see if uh, we got our division over here just yet. I'm going to bring him all the way around and attempt an attack right there. I'm worried that he's going to get cut off here. Well, no, because we have the French lands in the back. Never mind. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep on rotating these out. Um, oh, let me see. I'm trying to select this guy. I don't want this guy going over there. Come on, you stay here. Let's send the better division. And uh, we're not getting Lend Lease anymore because I noticed a lot more countries are canceling Lend Lease with us because we now have starting to kind of got out of our hole here when it comes to the equipment. Uh, the artillery is still really bad, but we're going to put in the light tanks, though. 
All right, um, got research finished, excellent. And that means we're gonna need to change focus to that, uh, the light tanks. Uh, we could get the medium tanks, but I think it would be better to get the light self-propelled artillery for right now. Uh, and we're gonna need to change up the equipment here. And did we ever finish that dock here? Oh, yes, we did, excellent. Uh, and we are short on the steel a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything about that just yet. And don't you leave here. Um, we'll wait until this guy finishes leaving. One day and five hours. I'll just keep on doing this. Make sure he doesn't leave. There we go. All right, so we finished up the research here. Let's go and attack here. I don't know if that's gonna be a victory. It looks like it's not. That's a damn shame. If I had one more division over here, we could maybe make it happen. Or if the French would just fucking assist uh, in this attack, which they just are not going to. Yeah, that's a damn shame. All right, so what we're gonna do to make sure that they don't leave here, because I actually do want to keep this this army here. This will leave him here. And uh, one, I think we're gonna go ahead and, and bring more divisions uh, from from our lands here in Africa. I don't expect anybody to be able to launch any attacks on us. I don't think we need any of these guys here, honestly. So let's just go ahead and bring them over here now. They're pretty crappy divisions. So you need a lot of them to be able to get anything done. All right, so we'll bring these guys over here as well. And uh, we still have four divisions uh, around the world. We have a lot of these in Africa. In fact, um, I just don't know if there's going to be any conflict with these with the Ethiopians. Uh, it's not that uh, you know what our divisions would be irrelevant anyway. They wouldn't be able to do anything. So we'll just leave the two that are there and let's bring one more over here. Uh, and let's go ahead and get another probably another army doctrine. Yeah, because we got the 60% bonuses for this. Uh, so let's grab this up. It's gonna be 81 days. Get a nice little bonus there. And now we're just gonna have to wait until we get more troop numbers over here. Uh, in fact, what we should be doing is let's go ahead and give them uh, some attacks uh, planning. Just like so. And uh, actually the entire front needs to be on that. And then same thing here. Actually, let's just go ahead and get the whole front. Get them going over there. All right, excellent. So they get a nice little planning bonus. Still holding out over here, looking like a lot of green, which is means that they are are taking casualties this entire time. Looks like we did lose on this attack. I'm gonna attempt another one, try and do it again. Uh, this time, it, it looks like we're not. We don't have a as good of a chance to win there. Yeah, we're just gonna have to pull back. It's not gonna work. All right, so that attack is not effective, unfortunately. Uh, these are all across rivers, so they are just exhausting themselves against us. Uh, the defensive bonuses that we're getting here are tremendous. Uh, so if they want to keep on launching these stupid-ass attacks, I'm absolutely fine with it. Although it does look like we're going to lose that province, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, well, we have another division going over there. Um, let's go ahead and send one of these guys over there as well. Because uh, they have the river bonus here. Uh, oh, God, we lost it. Damn it. All right, that's a shame. Attack. <laughs> I'm gonna try and grab it back. I don't think we're gonna get it back, guys. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right, we're just gonna have to give it up. All right, that's unfortunate. We're unable to hold that province. All right, we got our national focus finished, and that is all of the army ones, I believe. So now we can focus on, I guess, navy and air, or we can just do Albania. I really wanted to attack Albania, though, man. It feels like as Italy, you gotta like annex Albania, right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know if they would, they would probably just turn us down anyways, because I guess it's based on the total score. That's what somebody was telling me. Our total score doesn't look any higher than it was before when we kept getting turned down for everything that we wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, I don't think that's uh, what we're going to want to do. Let's instead go down this direction uh, and try and get some more, uh, well, let's go ahead and do this one because it gives us dockyards. Uh, we have more military factories. Uh, one more military factory anyways. Uh, we'll get this assigned to artillery and let me just take a look at the, the total stockpiles here so artillery light tanks infantry equipment is looking good all right so we know what we need to be pumping towards let's pull from the infantry equipment and let's go ahead and and, and do a bit more towards artillery and tanks so we have to keep assigning these we will go ahead and trade for steel i was hoping that we would get some over here um but i don't think they have any steel uh, on these borders uh, and this one looks like it's gonna go to the French the French have come all the way up around them uh, so that's awesome uh, we should have the Turks defeated soon uh, so we will go ahead to go ahead and have to trade for the steel because we're not gonna get the steel here like I was hoping uh, so we're gonna trade with let's just trade with the French they're our key ally right now and we still don't really have the troop numbers I, I hate how they do this like you could cut troops off here if you attacked 
right there or right there you could get you could get troops over here but instead they are like convinced that they have to uh, be helping out oh, let's bring this guy over here uh, they have to be attacking them here which is just super stupid man it's just the AI man they don't they don't really know like how to cut units off effectively uh, another easy attack here would be like attacking right there uh, would cut off all these guys too, um, or right there. Uh, but I don't know that we'll be able to win either of those two attacks. This is in the hills. Well, this is in the mountains. So either way, we're gonna get some bonuses there. What if we attempt it? Let's see what happens. Maybe we're gonna let it go for a little bit and see what happens there. Uh, and we're still waiting for more numbers over here so I can launch an attack somewhere. Just somewhere. It doesn't look like this is gonna fail. All right, whatever. I'm still waiting on troops uh, that are crossing the seas and stuff to come over here and help us out uh, on that front. And still holding out across all this. It's very good. Uh, not seeing any weak spots right now. I mean, right there is fairly weak, uh, but they keep on launching those damn attacks. Let's attempt to get a win here. Um, it's a possibility. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we'll go ahead and, well, we're always defending. <laughs> Just give me a second. Just let me help out here. All right, we might be able to grab that province back. It's the war for this province. Uh, and the, the Poles are still holding out, um, but they are losing territory, although maybe gaining territory up on that front. I got concentrated industry. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get uh, construction three. And then we'll go for excavation. Uh, we now have two divisions here. I'm going to attempt to get a win somewhere. Right there probably would be the best place. We should probably wait till our organization gets a little bit higher. Uh, they were not able to win there, the French. Okay, well, that's fine because I didn't want them to win there anyways. It's one more place where we'll be able to cut some troops off. I think we're going to attack here because then we could also provide support. Of course, it would be uh, across the river support. And you know what? We're not actually gaining organization here because attrition is so bad. All right. Um, so we might not be able to do this then. That's a shame. I'm going to attempt to and just support with all these guys and see if we can't get a win there because it's so important. Because if we did, we would uh, cut off all these, these three divisions here and we'd get them destroyed. Uh, so we're going to attempt to do it. Where are those other divisions? Do I have all of them? No, no, we don't have all of them because we have a. Uh, yeah, we only have uh, five divisions here. So where are the rest of them? Where are the rest of the divisions? Yeah, I don't see them anywhere. Huh. All right, well, let's just find out where these guys are. Oh, he's not even coming. Oh fuck! I thought I assigned these, but apparently I did not. All right. Well, let's fix that. Get the one over there. And we are not going to win there. Damn. That's a shame. Okay. Um, yeah, what are you going to do about it? There's nothing you can do. All right, so we're going to go and get anti-tanks, guys. We got a nice little bonus for that as well. Uh, let's go and research those. And we also have the ability to modify our government. So let's make that happen. Uh, I think we're going to go for... Hmm, yeah, some of these are some, some great bonuses here. However, we need more civilian factories as well so that we can build a little bit quicker. Uh, we could get ourselves the wartime mobilization. I think we're going to go ahead and do that because it's only 100. Uh, so it does leave us with uh, a bit more um, exp uh, political power for uh, changing something else up. Uh, so that'll give us those civilian factories, uh, which will allow us to build a bit more. So let's go ahead and once again focus on military factories. That's really all we need at the moment. Let's go ahead and build across Italy here. And there we go. That looks good. I'll take all this stuff down. All right. So as you guys can see, we now are able to build two full lines with almost a third uh, full one. And we can't really build any troops just yet. Our manpower still, we still need to change up manpower laws. Uh, I'm surprised by how little manpower Italy has. We do not have a lot of manpower. Uh, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna have to go up to the next next level, uh, but I felt that it was it was more important to get the factories right now since equipment is is really the main thing stopping us from building. So that's the reason why I went for that instead of the uh, uh, conscription laws. Yeah, nothing over here that I can do. Uh, advanced machine machine tools. Let's go ahead and uh, oh, we're done here. Excellent. Uh, let's do. Don't need anything here. Uh, could start working on. Oh no, we don't really need. Don't need ships or. Or planes right now uh, could start going after the artillery we have a nice bonus towards that I think that would probably make the most sense so let's do that it's 27 days and we'll be able to knock that out excellent it looks like we're not getting all the oil that we need from uh, Venezuela any longer 
I'm not entirely sure why. It's unfortunate. I'll we'll have to trade with somebody else, like the, uh... Let me see who would be the best uh, country to trade with. I guess we'll trade with the Canadians. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with the United States and Mexico. Uh, seems the Mexicans have advanced into Texas as well as into New Mexico. The Arizona border is uh, stable. Okay, and I'm seeing that the, the Americans have advanced into a few provinces. Uh, they've taken a couple provinces, but pretty much when it comes to who's taking the most territory, I think Mexico is winning on that front. Uh, let me just see uh, if there's anything good here. Sunk any large ships. It looks like it's all convoys and some light cruisers and destroyers. Nothing super exciting or anything. Yeah, just little ships. Um, and that's what I remember. We're doing our convoy rating across here. So the subs, I don't think we've really lost too many subs here, have we? Yeah, we haven't lost a single sub there. They have been very effective there, uh, which is, is nice. Um, so let me just take a look at this frontier and see if there's anything that we can do now. Uh, we're still losing on this attack here. I'm going to attempt to keep it going, though. Um, we still have those guys supporting on that attack as well. Keep on trying to to get the win here. It, it just feels like, man, if we could just get a victory. Um, you know what? Maybe we should just attack. Let's pull this back. Yeah, let's just do this. It's the... Uh, what's killing us right now is the attrition. Let's get all of our troops moving over to here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to help them here because this cuts them off as well, so it's irrelevant. And then we'll just let the French uh, destroy them as we attempt to advance up this way. Uh, yeah, that's how we'll do it. Uh, we got Mare Nostrum. Uh, and that stands for RC. Talking about the Mediterranean. And let's do... Let's do air innovations. Okay, excellent. Um, so let's attempt to uh, assist here now because it looks like we got winds all across here. We'll send two divisions that way and one over this way. Make sure that we get these guys cut off. And that's uh, going to be three, four, uh, seven, nine divisions that are going to be destroyed from this uh, cutting these guys off. Uh, so really nice. And uh, I'm seeing that some of those are, uh, we have a Russian, oh, we got a Russian volunteer division. So the Russians are helping the, the Germans out? Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure why that is. I, I guess it makes sense as a Russian player that you'd want the two sides to exhaust themselves and with the Germans, you know, they were losing for a while that it would make sense to, to give your aid to the uh, to the Germans in, instead of the Allies. Damn it. They're, see, they're fucking this up, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and try and get... We gotta get these guys cut off. Actually, I want to win here first. So let's let's send all of our troops over this way. Uh, so we get those divisions off as well. Um, there we go. Excellent. Alright, it's done. Uh, let's go ahead and attack them here. Get that win there. Um, and... Yeah, we're gonna focus... Uh, well, it looks like they're attempting to break out here. Uh, so... Let's bring all of the divisions up here to assist and to hold that province. We're going to need more divisions over here. Um, you guys are going to go this way as well. And I think we're going to need to send another one over here, actually. I don't think we're going to be able to hold this. God damn it. <laughs> that sucks. All right, so everybody needs to go this way. Come on, hurry up. Oh, there's a division right there that's currently cut off. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this guy over here to try and help destroy those three there. Uh, these guys are now relegated to just one province. If we can just get them destroyed. Attack, I'll bring this guy over here. All right, excellent. We're starting to see that overrun uh, icon. It's telling us that we're slowly getting these guys destroyed. Uh, get all these units uh, wiped out. We do have more military factories. Let's go and get those signed. It looks like infantry equipment's looking stacked now. Let's just pull some of the factories from that and start pumping them towards things that we need a bit more, like the uh, the fighters, obviously. Close air support planes need pretty bad as well. Uh, and the artillery is still being a problem for us. Let's go that way. All right, excellent. Okay, so we're getting troops cut off here. Uh, we got, it just sucks we have to constantly bounce back over here. Uh, the main front, obviously, the more important front, but I do want to make sure that we're not losing any territory or missing any opportunities to advance our territory where there might be some weak uh, locations here, which I'm not really seeing... Uh, any spots that are looking incredibly weak here where we would actually be able to win anyways uh, we'd most likely lose in, in the attacks here yeah I don't see us winning any of these alright we'll just uh, leave things as is over there just focus on Anatolia 
Because once we uh, get this wrapped up here, as I said, the, the key here is that we will then be able to we'll free up a ton of divisions uh, that will then be able to, uh, you know, focus on, on the Germans, um, mostly French divisions, of course. So we're going to take that uh, province there. Actually, we're going to go ahead and send two divisions over there. Uh, and then almost done here. Excellent. They have all been destroyed. Okay, that went very well. Uh, so let's see if we can't cut some more divisions off right here. Uh, and race towards Constantinople. And we're also going to take a look at casualties and see uh, how far away until the Turks uh, give up. Uh, so we got artillery. Uh, that didn't take very long at all. So we're going to need to change that up. Uh, and we're done here for right now. Uh, we're working on land doctrines. Still need to start working on air doctrines. We haven't even touched those yet. Kind of been focusing on other things. Like we should probably get field hospitals here. Uh, and I think we need infantry equipment as well. I'm going to attempt the attack there. It seems that we're going to need to have a division launch an attack here. Uh, we'll attack over here as well uh, so that we can... Uh, and it looks like this area is now open. Uh, but I'm not going to attack there. In fact, this whole front is now messed up. Um, let's change this up. Like so. And like so. Alright, so things don't get too crazy. And, yeah, stay where you're at. All right, so we're going to want to send one more division on over to here. And I think one more division over to here. Hold that. Uh, and see if we can't cut units off by grabbing that province. But, of course, we have to win our defense in order to do that. Uh, so just let's lock these guys down for as long as possible. We're going to attack them with another division. Try and get a win there. Uh, we got our anti-tanks, and I never did upgrade the artillery, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Uh, we're going to upgrade the anti-tanks as well. In fact, we don't have anti- You know what? That does not make any sense. Let's not do that. Let's instead get the uh, 1939 infantry equipment. Makes far more sense. All right, so we have the outdated artillery. Let's go and change them up. And then we're going to go ahead and start constructing the anti-tanks and the light stuff about artilleries that we just built. Here we go. And we'll move them right underneath the tanks. Oops. And then the anti-tanks will go right underneath the artillery. There we go. So we need to assign some factories for these. Um, we need to get at least, like, I don't know, three factories for each. Uh, what can we pull from? Probably infantry equipment is what we're stacked on the most. And that's it. We'll just have to let the new, um, the new factories we built go towards that. Uh, let's go and trade for another, uh, another thing of steel. Same thing with rubber here. And just take a look at how we are going on building. All right. Well, we're getting them done ever so slowly. Uh, we're now winning that defense, uh, which is excellent. We got mobile defense. Seems like we're constantly getting texts right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get. Um, well, we have two choices. We can go integrated support or dispersed support. Of course, this is for the lion artillery. Well, this is for the support companies. Uh, helps all the support companies. Uh, we are going to do. I think we're going to do the support companies this time. It, increasing that organization improves your, your troops quite a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Sometimes I go the other route. This kind of depends on the situation. All right, so we're not winning on this attack anymore. We don't actually need to, to do that anymore. Uh, what we do need to do is grab that province up. So let's go ahead and grab it up, and then we'll be um, very close to getting some units cut off. We're actually going to have to attack up here if we want to get that done, though. Because as you guys can see, uh, they're attempting to uh, move divisions over there. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and get uh, got a, our national focus done. Uh, that is the air innovations. Oh, huh. Okay, so if we want the research bonus by 1940, what are, what are these for here? Uh, this is, um, I think this is for the naval bombers. I don't know all the uh, planes by heart, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the the ship one next, uh, unless there's something else better here. I don't think so though, guys. Yeah, not seeing anything that is currently better. Yeah, what's up with this? This the social strike? I don't have that, right? Let me just double check, make sure that we don't have that. Yeah, we don't have that. All right, really should require that you have the national spirit for in order for you to get that. Uh, yeah, we got all the exciting stuff already. Uh, the National Focus Tree actually went, we went through it a lot quicker than I thought because a lot of these National Focuses are exclusive, so that was kind of unfortunate. When you actually look at how many Focuses there are, uh, it's it's slightly more than vanilla probably, 
but because you get them in 35 days, we'll probably get done with this quicker than we would in vanilla. Uh, we're gonna go and get the, uh, let's do the carrier focus one lightly. Let me just see if that affects anything that we can do here. Yeah, uh, we'll get the carrier focus. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It's just research bonuses. Uh, oh, well, wait a minute. This gives you two, this one only gives you one. Huh. Okay, so that does affect things then. All right, so let me just take a look. Is that for all the battleships? And that, let me see if that affects all the possible battleships we can build. Because uh, then we can get the Imperial class as well, based on that, that research bonus. In which case, it would be better to go for that one. It would. But we wouldn't be able to do the planes here. You know what? We're building a carrier and we don't have carrier planes yet. All right, we're gonna have to do something about that. Let's go with the battleships. Uh, I don't think we actually have a carrier yet. No, we don't have a carrier yet, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't think I actually even started building carriers. I've just been kind of uh, neglecting little stuff like that. Uh, so let's go and get the carriers going. Uh, I, it's good that we didn't though, because we don't even have the planes uh, for those. Our production right now is kind of stretched to its limit. Uh, so adding more stuff onto there is not going to be helpful, but we will go ahead and get those researched next. Uh, we'll start researching those planes uh, so that we can get... It's it's just not that important. That's why I don't want to put a bunch of factories towards it, because who are we going to be fighting that has a large navy? Uh, the Soviet Union has uh, 74 to 86 ships. Uh, the Germans are, you know, their, their navy's practically destroyed already. Uh, so yeah, it just doesn't seem all that wise to be uh, pumping all those... Uh, you know, pumping all those factories into carrier stuff. I thought that we were gonna, there was a chance that we were gonna be fighting the uh, the Brits. So that's the reason why I did that. Uh, so let's go and get another troop coming over here. So we can launch an attack again here. There we go, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and send, oh, let me just see here. And Kara's securely in our hands. We need to go ahead and get, I would love to cut these guys off, but so far, uh, oh, this would cut them off. All right, so that's what we need to do. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna move these guys over here and let's just uh, pump divisions across here. In fact, I think we're already moving two over here, aren't we? Okay, that'll work. We'll just leave these guys. Oops, God damn it! fuck. I hate that when I think I clicked on somebody and I did it and then I just fucked some shit up. All right, so that's a shame. Uh, they're about to come over there, so we need to launch another attack. We'll have to send these guys. <laughs> Oh, that does not last very long. We cannot hold them for very long at all. When are they going to get there? Three days. How long till these guys get there? Oh, they're going to get there before us. All right. There's not really anything I can do about it. Shit. One day and 17 hours. Maybe I can launch another attack here. <laughs> it just doesn't even delay them at all. We can't delay them uh, for hardly any time. But maybe we can delay them long enough to get there first. Oh, they got that fast-ass cavalry in it as well. Yeah, that's one of the problems, too. All right, let's go and launch another attack. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Fuck. All right, well, with them all leaving here... All right, this is what we're going to do. Let's launch an attack there. Still going to bring this division down here. We're still waiting for these guys as well. Just taking their sweet-ass fucking time getting over here. Damn it. All right, so this did not go well, unfortunately. Let's go and see if we can grab this province and cut them off there. Uh, so we finally got here. Took them long enough. Good God, man. Uh, it took them forever to get down here, but we did it. Uh, we got more troops coming up this way as well. Uh, you notice we're taking attrition all across this region too, which is obviously not optimum. Uh, we're able to hold out here. Uh, I almost want to attack there as well. Uh, I think we will. Yeah, let's go and attack there. We'll have a division coming down here to hold it. I just want to make sure we can secure one of these provinces and cut off these divisions. There we go. Gorgeous. All right, that worked out nicely. Okay, um, so what we're gonna wanna do here is let's make sure that you guys are assigned to this front. Um, and I'm not really, I don't really feel like we need to uh, attack this way. Let's get all these units destroyed first so they can't do anything else. Cause remember they are advancing towards our, uh, our area there. And I don't want that. Uh, so, is everybody assigned to you? Okay, they are. So, uh, yeah, things are, are going better. Um, let's go and attack here. Lock these units down. We want to get them destroyed, of course. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's let them... If they want to pull back, let's let them pull back. That makes far more sense. Uh, let them go over here. Let them uh, all go into one little area. Uh, and we will need... We need troops over here. 
so bring this guy over here. It looks like we are about to lose there. Luckily, this is a, a wider uh, front, so what we need to do is attack up over this way. Try and stop them from, from winning that attack. And uh, all these guys are now cut off, and they'll be taking considerable more attrition every uh, every day they stay there. Uh, we can now grab this province. Let's go and make that happen. Uh, in fact, we can go ahead and send both of these units over there. I'm going to grab that province, and we'll start attacking these units. And uh, start getting them destroyed. Um, might as well move down here. Advance the front a bit. Uh, let's attack here. I know that it's probably not going to be a win, but I think it's worth attacking anyway. And then let's send these guys over this way. Alright, excellent. Um, who's assigned to this front? So we need this guy assigned here. And this guy assigned here. Alright, so it looks like we are going to get a victory there. Lovely. Um, let's go ahead and send another division over that way. No, no, no. Let's come on over here. Looks like he's got that taken care of, all wrapped up. And it seems that the front is messed up. I don't actually want that whole front out like that. All right, so uh, slowly getting them pushed back over here. Uh, but yeah, they're about to take our capital here, uh, or you know, the capital of our Anatolia uh, territory. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that province up. And we did lose on that attack. There's a lot of divisions over here, unfortunately. Uh, but we're getting more troops coming over here that are going to be able to assist us. Uh, assist taking taking this area. Uh, what we could do, um, what we need to do is just, let's just, well, hmm. we got to wait until more troops come here, clearly. All right, so we got the battleship focus. Excellent. Um, let's get, let's go and get this one. Okay. Uh, I don't think we would win in this attack. We're gonna have to wait. Just gotta wait until we get more troops down here. This takes a while for them to move throughout here. They got the rough territory down there. Uh, taking a look at this front, make sure we're not losing any territory once again. Uh, make sure everything's going well over here. It seems everything is going swimmingly. How are we, how are we doing on our, our uh, fighters and whatnot? All right, we have uh, some fighters we could assign over here. I would not be surprised if we already have, yeah, we already have control up here. So sending some more fighters would not be useful. They just need more bombers. Uh, how are we doing over here though? Do we still have control here we do and yeah, not doing bad at all um, we do need more planes up here though so what I'm gonna do is let's just assign a assign hundred fighters up here and be interwar fighters unfortunately and let's get them helping out here and we'll go ahead and prioritize more ground crews there I think it's more important that we help out on that front uh, the Polish are still holding out guys they still have not yet been defeated. Uh, Germany 25% towards capitulation, while Poland is 89%. I think that's where they're at before. The Turks are 43% towards capitulation. The Germans have lost 1.76 million. A ton of that has been on this border here as they just exhaust themselves on our defensive front. Uh, so yeah, they're having a lot of issues over there. Uh, just taking a look at what we might be able to do here. If we take that, we cut those divisions off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it even though it might end up getting us cut off. Um, well, we can't get cut off because we have this here. Yeah, you got all these divisions here uh, that we're gonna get destroyed now. So let's go and make that happen. Uh, and I'm gonna attempt another attack here, try and at least lock those units down. And I don't want this front looking like that. So let's go ahead and bring these guys back over to here. Okay, and we're pushing forward over here. Not any, uh, the French are doing it. Um, once again, though, I just want to get these units destroyed. Uh, There's a lot of uh, a lot of divisions that uh, would be super helpful to have not here any longer. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and attack here first and then bring these guys down here. Get those guys pushed back. In fact, it'd probably be better to, because uh, yeah, they're going to retreat up here. Okay, we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, then we'll work on getting these units here destroyed, who are now completely cut off. Excellent. They, they made that happen. Good job, guys. All right, so um, this is where there, there's still a lot of troops over here. A lot of divisions right there. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys attack over this way. Uh, try and keep these guys from building in advance. Any further, maybe cut off this group from this group. Uh, winning here. Um, let's go ahead and have these guys attack down this way, because clearly uh, <laughs> we were losing that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring the front down again. Uh, you guys can come over here. Yeah, just no success on taking this province. Uh, just so many divisions over there. We'll attack again and maybe get it done. I don't know. See what we can't do there. We'll attack over here again. Never mind. Need to get our organization up. 
But yeah, it looks like we're we're gonna get these guys destroyed. Won't take much longer. Right, let's go attack again. There we go. Yeah, this is looking really good. All right, so hopefully all these divisions, I believe, should be coming down here. No, we have to sign one more over there. Uh, and yeah, we have uh, four divisions here to get destroyed and six over here. Um, and they've canceled their lend lease with us. Well, that's a shame. All right, excellent. So we have these guys uh, locked down to one province here. And um, we'll keep these three divisions up here. Just to make sure they don't advance any further, though. They would be really helpful having all of our divisions in this area. Let's go ahead and attack. Attack! Get them destroyed. Make it happen. Alright, and then once we're done there, we'll bring our troops over here. The Kingdom of Poland has just capitulated. Oh, man. These are dark times indeed. So, that is actually a fantastic place to end the episode with the Polish capitulating. Because that's going to change uh, the military situation by a lot. Uh, because now the uh, Germans and their allies will be able to just pump all their divisions onto this front with us and the French. I have a feeling that this is going to... Oh, it looks like the uh, uh, Belgians are now in the war. Excellent. I didn't realize that. Seeing if anybody else has joined in. So yeah, Germany is doing a great job. Well, with, the, of course, the Romanians and the Hungarians. Let's give them their credit, too. Uh, I think they were instrumental in, in the defeat of Poland. So yeah, this is uh, this is actually becoming uh, it's challenging, uh, which is good. This is what I wanted. I thought this was gonna be a quick quick uh, victory, but that is not the case. The Germans are fighting their little hearts out, and uh, they are they're losing a lot of men. Uh, so I think that's that's the key here. They've only lost two million men. We've lost one hundred nineteen thousand in comparison. Uh, Great Britain's kind of similar numbers there. French have lost three hundred twenty five thousand. So the Germans are suffering suffering extreme casualties. Uh, if we just look at their current manpower. Uh, they have between 600-something to 800-something thousand men left. They're already at extensive conscription. So this is... The manpower is going to be dire uh, for them. Uh, just looking at the Romanians, they have a lot of manpower. Uh, the Hungarians are almost out of manpower, though. Uh, I wonder how many casualties they've taken. Really not too bad. The Turks have lost a lot. The Dutch have lost a lot for them as well. Uh, just taking a look at the Dutch... Uh, they have, they still have several hundred thousand men left. Uh, but yeah, we are, uh, about to get the Turks defeated. They, uh, we're going to have to take the capital more than likely. They are currently at 45% towards capitulation. Uh, so once we take Constantinople, Constantinople, that'll free up our troops. So essentially it, it kind of, uh, I'm not gonna say it balances it out. Cause I think the, the Germans had more troops on the Polish border than the French do down here, but that's the way I'm looking at it, is that there's a little bit of balance there. Uh, as they pull these troops off here, we'll be able to pull our troops out of Anatolia, and uh, then we'll be able to uh, focus everything on the European front. Uh, and it's just going to be ours against theirs, and I feel very, I feel very, very good about our chances here, even with their additional numbers, just because we are so far entrenched here. Uh, we have very good experience overall, um, because we've been fighting here so long, and very favorable uh, numbers here. Uh, you see that they, they, they've got to be having equipment issues, uh, the Germans do. So even though their manpower might last for a little bit longer, I think the equipment's going to cause cause the problems for them. And so I feel very good about that front, uh, especially once we get Anatolia uh, finished up here. And that's a lot of divisions that have been destroyed. Uh, some of these are, and some of these are German divisions. Okay, guys, so let's end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and thanks for watching.